Hello everyone, so in this particular video we are going to continue over the PySpark tutorial and we are going to learn about the joining concept in a PySpark. Joining is a very much important from an interview perspective and from the job perspective also because in organization you will see a multiple tables you will be having and you have to join and you have to combine this all the data set. So in that case uh, we have a joining concept that we are going to learn in this particular video. So PySpark join is used to combine two data frame. PySpark join operation combine data from a two or more data set based on the co common column key that is a important based on the common column key we try to join two or a multiple data set so it is similar to the SQL in a SQL also we have a inner join left join right outer join full outer join uh, semi join concept right so here also uh, in a PySpark also we have a same concept so what is inner join, left join, right join, full outer join, left semi join, left anti join, let's try to understand. So first I show you the data sets. I have a one department data set. In this department I have all the department related information like what is department, what is the designation and also the user ID information. In the employee table I have all the employee information, their name, salary and location. This kind of information I have and I want to combine these two. So let's understand so what to make you understand I have just combined so this is my first data set first data frame and this is my second data frame now I want to combine these two so what is the first thing we had to check we had to check what is the common key based on that we can do a journey in this case what is the common key employee ID is common key user ID is common key based on that I can do a journey so first thing is like what is the common key based on that we can do a journey that we had to find out now second thing is like uh, which operation we want to perform so you can see we have a multiple right we have a inner join left join right join full outer join so let's see how actually it works so joining we used to combine these two data sets so we are joining these two data set and what is the final output we want we want the, all the column like we want employee ID name salary location as well user department designation all so in this case what we will use we will use a joining so what is the first uh, joining first joining is the inner join so whenever we will apply a inner join it will return only the row with matching keys in the both the data frame so if you'll see whatever the matching records will be there in the both the data frame that only uh, we will get all the records you can see in the first table we have a one two three four and in the second table also we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is not matching only 1, 2, 3, 4 record is matching so in this case what we will get we will get all the matching records from the both the tables so in the when we will apply a inner join this will be our output this will be our output so in this case what will happen whatever the common key which is available in the both the data frame that uh, all the records we will get 5, 6 is not here so then that record we will not get 7 8 is not here then that record we will not get only the matching records we will get from the both the uh, data frame so that is a inner join second is the left join in the case of the left join by the name itself you can understand left what is the left and right whatever the first data frame will be available that you have to consider as a left whatever the second uh, data frame you will be having that you have to understand as a right this is the uh, right so in the case of the left join uh, what happened it will return all the row from a left data frame and matching row from the right data frame so it will return all the row from a left data frame so these are the record we have right so whatever the records will be available from the left data frame you will get all the rows record like one two three four five six everything you will get whatever the matching records you will be having in the right data frame that only you will get so you can see one two three four only is available which is matching from here right so that record only you will get 7 8 uh, this record we will not get because this is not available here we when we'll apply a left join so it will return all the records from the left data frame and only the matching records you will get from the right data frame and whatever is not matching you will get as a null this all the value will become a, a null because this is not available in the right data frame right so this value will be a null now let's see how actually we can apply a right join in the case of the right join by the name itself you can understand when we are saying right join so it will return all the rows from a right data frame and matching rows from the left data frame in the case of the right data frame what will happen all the rows you will get from the right data frame means all the records you will get from here and only the matching records you will get from the left data frame what is the matching record this one two three four only is matching right so uh, that record only you will get and this uh, 7 8 is not available here so this will become a null this all the value will be a null so in the case of the inner join what will happen only the common records you will get 
and in the case of the left join all the records you will get from the left join left table only the matching records you will get from the right table in the case of the right join all the records you will get from the right table only the matching records you will get from the left table now we have a full outer join it will return all the rows from a both the data frame including matching and non matching rows so in the case of the full outer what will happen you will get all those records so you will get all those records from this table this all the records you will get and whatever is not matching that will become a null so you can see 1 2 3 4 this is matching so this you will get 5 6 is not matching so this records also you will get but this value will become a null this all the value will become a null here this 7 8 is not available here so this all the value will become a null so like this actually works in a full outer join so you will get all those record only the whatever the matching that only you will get uh, uh, other so in the case of the full outer join you will get all those record whatever is not matching it will become a null and now we have a left semi join it return all the row from the left data frame where there is a match in the right data frame so in the case of the uh, left semi join what will happen whatever the common records right uh, whatever the you will get only those records from a left data frame which is available in the right data frame in a right data frame so that is a left semi join left anti join it return all the row from a left data frame where, where there is no match in the right data frame so you can see the 5 6 is not available in the right data frame right so this only the records you will get in the case of the left anti join in the case of the left semi join it will give only the return of this all the four value so this is the because these are the available in the right table also right so in the case of the left semi join this this is the output we will get in the case of the left anti join this is the output we will get because this is not available in the right table so that we have to remember let's do a practical and let's understand so i'll open my databricks account you can see i have a cluster ready i will try to upload a file so i'll go to the catalog create table i'll search for the file so i have a employee and the department file so this is my department file and also I have an employee file so both the files I will try to upload once you will upload this is the location you will get so you have to just copy it and go to the recent go to your notebook let's copy this so these are the two locations where my file is available so we have a department 1.csv and the employee 2.csv now what we will do our next step will be to create a data frame how actually we can create a data frame so I am creating first data frame employee and I will just write EMP so that I can understand this is the employee data frame EMP DF I can write and how actually we can create a data frame spark.read.csv and I will pass the location what is my file location for the employee this is the file location right so this I will make and after that I will make employee df dot so let me execute similarly I will create a second data frame that will be a department df so I will write department df and here also I will write spark dot read dot csv but here you can see this is not coming properly because we have forgot to add a header equal to the true so what we will add header equal to true and infer schema also equal to true once you will add that we will get the proper schema also and also the first row it will consider as a header you can see now we are getting properly so our employee data frame is ready so we are creating a second data frame so this department location i will pass here and i will make the header equal to the true and also i will make infer schema true so what i am writing is part of read or csv location i am passing header equal to true and infer schema true and after that i will do department df dot so if i will do i will be able to read the department data frame also now let's see uh, one by one how actually we can perform a joining so first we will see a inner join so it's very simple first you have to write your data frame name what is your first data frame first data frame is uh, employee df right i want to join with which particular uh, data frame i want to join with the uh, department df 
so what i am writing employee df dot join a department df on which particular uh, key actually we want to join so if you will see what is the common key which is available in the both the table both the data frame employee id is available in the first data frame and user is available in the second data frame so based on that actually we want to join so what you have to write so i want to join employee from a first data frame we have a employee id column equal equal to the from the second data frame i have a user column so from this particular data frame for first data frame we have a employee id column from the second data frame we have a user column so based on that we want to do a joining after that you have to write inner because you want to perform a inner join and then you have to write dot so and then you have to execute it let's see whether we will get only the common record from the both the table or not you can see 1 2 3 4 only i am getting so because 1 2 3 4 only is common in between the both the table 1 2 3 4 is available here as well as the 1 2 3 4 is available here means in the case of the inner join you will get only the common records from both the table now how let's see how actually we can perform a left join in the case of the left join what you have to write first you have to write first data frame dot join you have to write second data frame comma based on which particular uh, column you want to join i want to join based on the from the first table based on the employee id and from the second table equal equal department df dot user column comma which join you want to perform left join so i will write left dot so if i will execute this I should get all the record from the left table. You can see all the record from the left table and whatever is not matching, I am getting as a null from the right table. So that is a left join. Now, if you have to perform a right join, then what you have to write? You have to write the same. Only this left you have to change as a right. Once you will change left to the right, this will work the right join. In this case, all the records you we are getting from the right table, only the matching records we are getting from the left table, others are becoming null. Similarly, we can perform a full outer also. So we have to write the same syntax, only we have to write full outer. Once you will do this, so you can see this I am getting error, it should be full outer. So you can see we are getting all the record whatever is not matching it's coming as a null now similarly let's see uh, other join we have a left semi join also so let's see how actually it will work so i will use the left semi here so you can see only it only is common record which is available in left table we are getting and if you use the left anti So you have to write left empty here. Whatever uh, is not matching in the lab table, that records only it is showing. So like that actually we can perform uh, all the kind of the joining operation. So I hope you got the idea. That's it in this video.